Hello guys, welcome back to Savage Engineers YouTube channel. In this short video lecture, I would like to guide you for estimation of steel for the construction of RCC slab. If you want to build your house and you don't know that how much steel is required for the slab construction, so watch this video till the end to know about steel calculation. If you are new on this channel, so you may like the video and subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates. As you can see guys, this is RCC slab, which width is, suppose this is 12 feet and the length is 16 feet. As you know guys, we are providing main bars and on the other side we have distribution bars. So how we can find the steel reinforcement details especially quantity of steel in this rcc slab so guys this is rcc slab first of all i will guide you guys for die of steel reinforcement so you should know about the diameter of bar which is minimum here 12 millimeter next guys remember here we require to know about spacing of main bars and distribution bars which is minimum six inches center to center you should know about this or you can say 0 0.5 feet next you should know about the length of slab what should be the length of slab suppose here we have the length is here 16 feet and you should know about the width of width of slab which is here 12 feet so how to calculate steel reinforcement for main bars and distribution bars guys you can see this is main bar which we are providing on the lengthwise and these are distribution bars which are providing on the width side okay so now let me guide you for finding the main bars for this slabs okay so finding main bars as you know for main bars remember the length should be divided by center to center spacing plus one because the first steel we are providing where we don't have the length for this okay so therefore plus one we are providing here so the length is here for main bars as you can see this is 16 feet so 16 feet divided by six inches it should be converted to the feet which is 0 0.5 feet plus 1 when you do its calculation so 0 16 divided by 0 0.5 so this is about 32 numbers of bars plus 1 you can say 33 numbers of main bars are required now let me find uh, for the distribution bar so d bar is equal length or you can say width okay Th this is length and th th the other one is width so we are divided by center to center spacing plus one so we are width a is here guys you can see which is 12 feet so 12 feet divided by 0 0.5 feet are six inches you can say plus one where you can do its calculation 25 numbers are required okay if you see guys here these are 25 numbers so now let me find the total length of main bars and distribution bars remember guys the length of main bar is here if you see 33 feet 33 numbers multiply where the length of main bar is 12 feet you can see clearly so forget about the concrete cover because this is about just one inch or 1.5 inches okay so these are the ignore uh, matlab ignorable uh, points so therefore guys remember you can see clearly uh, 33 numbers of steel reinforcement and the main bar length is 12 feet next guys 25 numbers we required for the distribution bars where the length of 25 uh, numbers is 16 feet so therefore 16 feet 25 multiply uh, 25 multiply 16 so you will get the total length for the main bar and also for for the distribution bars and also for main bar so just do its calculation length okay so total length of main bar and total length of distribution bars plus 
so this is the total length and the feet okay then you can find the weight of steel so where the weight of steel formula is remember just time guide you okay so d square divided by 162 d square divided by 162 which can give you the weight of steel in kg per meter so therefore this fit should be converted to the this fit should be converted to the meter okay suppose we have the total length for example the total length of main bars and distribution bars suppose we have any number okay for example uh, we have uh, uh, suppose we have 400 feet for example so the 400 feet for the main bar and distribution bar length should be divided by 3.28 because i am converting it to the meter okay suppose we have the meter anything okay just i am guiding you for example i have 80 meter suppose i am not doing its calculation just i am guiding you this is a just example so therefore remember guys you can find the total weight of steel so d square the d square should be in millimeter in millimeter as i discussed here before which is 12 multiply 12 so 12 multiply 12 d square divided by 162 multiply the total length of main bar and distribution bar in main uh, uh, in the meter okay which is 80 so therefore guys or you can do its calculation 12 multiply 12 divided by 162 you will get the value 0 0.88 kg per meter so therefore guys for per meter we have 0 0.88 kg so just multiply 8 with 0 0.88 then you will get the total length of steel reinforcement for this rcc slab uh, which width is 12 feet and the length is 16 feet for normal residential building so you will get the total uh, quantity of steel for uh, th this rcc slab uh, with the help of main bars and distribution bars formula and the dia should be 12 millimeter and the formula should be d square divided by 162 if you have 16 millimeter if you have 10 millimeter if you have 6 millimeter even 8 8 millimeter so you can use this formula which i have already discussed the front of you remember guys for normal rcc slab which is for residential building and the depth should not be less than six inches okay this is very important for you people because this is uh, this is out of the quantity of steel but uh, most of the students they are asking it should not be less than this otherwise you will face more problems uh, in the case of seepage etc thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye